Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the f-string in Python. The f-string is a formatted string lit a literal that takes um, values and then puts them into the string at runtime. So this makes the f-string a lot faster than the uh, format method in Python. All right, so we're going to take a look at how this all works, and I'll also show you a speed comparison at the end, so you can see that the f-string is faster. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a variable language, and that's going to be equal to uh, Python. And we're going to say version, and that's going to be equal to 3. All right, and we can either do a lowercase f or an uppercase f. So we'll do a lowercase first, and then we'll look at uppercase in a second and I'm gonna say I am uh, learning and then in the curly brace I'm gonna say language all right and close out my curly brace and then uh, we'll do version in here and these curly braces indicate hey this is where we want to input a value uh, when you run this string so it's gonna go and look for these variables language and um, version all right so we're gonna close out our string get hit return I am learning Python 3 there you go. It's pretty simple, right? Uh, we could, like I said, also do it with the uppercase F. So uh, I am learning, and then, oops, curly brace language. Close out our curly brace, and then curly brace version, and close out that curly brace, and close out the string. Hit return. I am learning Python three. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Uh, bum, bum. Uh, all right, so uh, one of the issues with the F string is um, using the escape characters to escape the quote. So let's take a look at what happens when we do that. So we're going to do F string, and then I'm just going to say uh, in here, I'm learning Python. All right. <clears throat> I just want to make sure my quotes match up correctly here and I'm gonna hit return and notice I got an invalid syntax in there all right so if I go and try to use an escape character uh, I'm gonna bring this in and just do this so we don't have to watch me type all the time and I bring in the the back or the escape character to escape the quote and hit return it says f string expression part cannot include a backslash okay well that stinks right what happens if I need to um, escape a quote? <clears throat> One way to do that would be F and then three strings. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, this is not really escaping the um, <clears throat> quote. We're just adding another way to print a string by going triple quotes and then a double quote. And then I, I'm uh, learning... Python, I believe I used. I'm going to close out our uh, double quote, close out our curly brace, and then close out our triple quote, hit return, and there you go. Now we can use a double quote, a single quote in there because we use the triple quotes on the outside. That's one way to work around it. Uh, uh, how about if you want to throw some curly braces inside a um, F string? So we'll do F, and then we'll do... Um, our string here we're going to do two curly braces and then the curly brace and say we want to put a curly brace around 50. all right and then curly brace and then two curly braces to close it out and these two curly braces basically escape this curly brace on the inside there you go all right so that's another thing uh we can do some mathematical equations inside the f string so f uh I don't know, let's do uh, 5 times 30, and then curly brace, and then close out our string, hit return, we get 150, so we can do some mathematical equations in there. So <laughs> that's the F string. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the difference in speed compared to the F string and the format string method, all right? So we're going to do import, uh, time it, like that, then we're going to do time it, dot time it and then we're going to do in here we'll do triple quotes and I'm going to say language ooh, that's spelling right language 
is equal to Python, like that. And we're gonna hit return and version is equal to uh, three. And then we'll do our string. We are learning. And then in here, uh, our curly braces. All right, and we're gonna use the format method. Now, if you guys are following along exactly in our tutorial series, you guys haven't seen this yet. Language version. <coughs> Um, and close out our string like that and then we'll just say number is equal to 10,000 this is for time its function and it return and we get uh, 005310 all right let's see what happens when we do it with the F string so I'm just gonna push up here so I don't have to retype all this stuff version and then I'm gonna use the F string F and I'm gonna say we we are learning and then curly brace and then we'll put language close our curly brace space curly brace version curly brace and whoa, uh, da, 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 da. make sure I close this out properly all right single quote triple quotes and comma then number is equal to 10,000. I don't think we really need that because I think it defaults, defaults that. Hit return. And notice the difference here. We got 001, 005. So it's almost five times faster. So, <coughs> sorry. So bad on cold. So if you guys have any questions about the um, uh, F string in Python, please let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.